This video is brought to you by IT Pro TV. If you'd like to learn more, visit us at itpro.tv. When you share a folder on the network, right? Obviously, a lot of people on your network can come across and, and access that data, and if they've got right permission, they can store stuff, right? Well, you probably don't want them filling up your hard drive, or you probably don't want one user monopolizing all the storage that's available on your system. It happens, right? You give somebody a network share, and they're like, hey, I don't care how much space I store. They'll throw whatever they want in there because it's not their system, right? It's not their computer. It happens all the time. With NTFS quotas, we can put a limit on the amount of space that any one person can use, and that's really handy because it does stop that person from being able to just manipulate everything that is, uh, or not, not manipulate, but monopolize all the, the space that's available, all right? When we create disks inside of, of Windows, you know, everyone gets a drive letter, and, and then you can create shared folders and so on. The quotas are set at the drive level. So you define it per drive. You have a C drive, E drive, F drive, whatever. On each one, you can define a quota. And you can say for users, here's the maximum amount of space you can use. In older versions of Windows, the quota system was very, very basic, right? Everybody basically had the same limit. In the newer versions of Windows, like Server 2012, you can get very granular. Some groups can have certain limits. Other groups can have different limits. Some people can not, not have any limit, you know? So you do have a lot of flexibility with the new quotas, all right? Um, if I browse, uh, let's see, here to volumes, I can see my C drive right here. And, you know, it's just my 60, what is it, 64 gigs or something like It says 60 gigs here. I can pull up the properties of that C drive. Here we go. And so we can start to see what space is available and, and how much room there is. Uh, you know, it actually doesn't give me the quota option here, so we'll have to go the old way. If I fire up Explorer and I pull up the properties of my C drive here, here we go. You'll see on this property screen, we actually have quota right there. And I can choose quota right now. It's not showing it to me because I don't have administrative access, so I have to hit Show Quota Settings, and that'll get it. And I can see that my quotas are not defined. We can go in here, and we can turn on quota management, and then we can start to define how we want our quota to apply. Right? We start off with like a default. I can say limit disk space to and specify a size. Maybe I want to limit each user to one gig of data. So I can come in here and say uh, one gigabyte. And I can do a warning level at like 800 megabytes or, or wherever I want to set it. So I'm going to say if a user consumes 800 megabytes, generate a warning. Now, the warning is an event log message, so your end users aren't going to see it. But if I'm monitoring for it, I can see it. And then in the event logs, we can take various actions based on that. But I'm going to go ahead and specify it, and I'll put the little note in here to do the event log messages. All right. So, so now, a user on this drive, if they hit 800 megs, we generate a warning. If they hit 1 gig, what do we do? Well, I can deny disk space to users. In Windows, we have what's called a soft quota and a hard quota. A soft quota is where when somebody violates it, we still let them consume space, but we generate a message so we can take action, right? A hard quota is where you actually stop them from writing any more data. And that's handy if you want them to stop consuming the space. You know, this puts the brakes on it. So the default is a soft quota. That's unchecked. And by checking it, now it's a hard quota. Now, if I stop right here, I'm creating a generic rule that basically applies to all the users. So if a user starts creating files, they're the owner of that file. And their ownership means it counts towards their quota. If I seize ownership of the file, it becomes my file. Now it counts towards my quota. right? And so everybody's got this one gigabyte quota. right? Everybody but the system, right? the Windows system, is allowed to contain more. Now, if I go down to quota entries here, here I can start to see oops, the entry that we created and the login names that are tied to it. So here I can see administrators and the quota that they're using. And so I can see what users are using what amount of space. Right, right now it's not very exciting because nobody's created anything since I turned the quotas on. Right? Uh, it is not retroactive. It doesn't go backwards in time. So I would have to start creating some more data on here to really get, get, uh, uh, get some good stuff in there. But the cool part, the reason why I wanted to show you guys this, is in the quota entry screen, I can go up here to new quota entry. And I can manually create quota limits for other people, right? So like for the IT department, um, which I thought I spelled. Oh, it's looking for users. Let me change that to a group. Um, oh, is it not going to let me change that to a group? It certainly isn't, is it? 
Yeah, it's tied to users. All right. So, uh, so we'll, we'll do user. We'll, we'll overwrite it for our John Doe person. There we go. So I'll take John Doe, and I'm going to give John Doe a different limit. I'm going to limit him to 500 megabytes. Maybe he's a known offender, and so I want to limit him down to, to 100 or 500 megs, and I'll generate a warning at 450 megs. All right. So I can do that. You can generate an exception. You know, maybe you've got like your CEO, and your CEO comes down and says, I demand more storage. And so you can assign it and do overrides. So the other ones, the other entries that will start to show up in here over time, those are, are the ones that are created off of our default, default policy. And then here we kind of do our overrides. All right. So now my users, as soon as John is up, I can show you guys, can browse in, start to write data, and it'll all start to count against his quota. So I'm going to apply that. So the quotas are now on. And I'm going to leave this screen up so I can kind of revisit it. Uh, you know, you can, you can kind of leave it up and do this view and refresh to, to update it from time to time. And there I start to see things are pouring in now that it's fired up. Mm -hmm.